Hey everybody, it's Mary from marydalba.com. And I wanted to just talk to you about what's going on tomorrow with the solar eclipse in Gemini. So that means tomorrow there's a new moon, but the new moon is sort of amped up because of the solar eclipse. And what that means is, is that not only do we have a new moon coming in where we can start new beginnings, um, we can create something new in our lives, we can use that energy to set goals for the next 28 to 30 days, which is great. But the solar eclipse makes it a little more dramatic. So the solar eclipse is happening on Thursday, June 10th. And here's some things you should watch out for. And not only on June 10th, but also on Friday, June 11th and Saturday, June 12th, because a new moon energy and a full moon energy carries on for three days in total. So important things. Um, with it being in Gemini, it adds a little extra twist because Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury. And if we all know what's happening right now with Mercury, it's in retrograde, which means it's not at full power. So let's think about this for a second. We have a more dramatic new beginning, which could create a dramatic ending to get that new beginning. We have Gemini in the sign of Gemini, which is ruled by the planet that's not at full power right now in communications, in commerce, in travel, and in mechanics. Most times during a solar eclipse, astrologers recommend that you lay low. Um, and I know that's not always possible for us to do when we talk about laying low. So how do you survive this if you're worried about it? It's not necessarily survival but it's more of just how do you nego uh, navigate that energy and how you navigate it is uh, to really think before you speak, double check emails that you write. Um, if you're worried about something mechanically, be careful with that. Um, you know, Gemini also rules. Uh, so other than communications, it talks about short meetings or short travel. So just double check your details. Um, you know, like tonight I went out and I, I worked a small event and I double checked the details of that event so that I arrived at the right place and on time. So you really should take some extra time before you speak. Also, if you do what a lot of us do during the moon, new moon, um, we'll write down wishes and dreams and goals for the next 20 to 30 days, which is until the next new moon. Um, make sure if you decide to write those out and say a little prayer to the universe or, um, you know, read it out loud to the universe, however you want to manifest it, just make sure what you're writing is what you really want. Um, so it can't be one of these, well, I kind of hope that happens, or maybe that'll work out the way I want it to. Be clear in what you want, be clear in what you ask for, be clear in what you write, um, because it may not turn out exactly how you would like it to if you don't. So we have dramatic beginnings or possible endings, more beginnings, um, but you know, from a beginning comes from an ending. Um, there could be drama just in conversations. Um, you know, you really wanna kind of hold the things that you wanna fly out of your mouth um, and just double check with your mind if you really wanna say them. And sometimes you do. And that's okay too. But tomorrow is really going to be heightened energy around your communications. So just consider that. Um, if you have any questions, you can find me on my website at M-A-R-Y-D-A-L-B-A.com, marydalba.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions for you. So um, enjoy your solar eclipse in Gemini. Know that um, some beautiful things can come out of it too. Um, so just be clear on your speaking, be clear on your intentions, and it'll go just fine. All right. Have a good one, everyone. See you next time.